Welcome to the channel, everybody. Thanks for checking it out. In my most recent live stream, I spoke about the Innovato Quadra. This little guy here isn't a Raspberry Pi killer, like some people may have asked. However, it is some sort of Raspberry Pi alternative in the sense that you could run Linux on this, and with that, you could run Node Red, you could run HamPy tools, and many other things. Now, this used to be an Android TV box. That's how it started off its life, but Due to some cool engineering, there's some people out there much smarter than me who got Armbian up and running on here. And now today I'm going to show you how you could install HamPy on this device. Now, before we get started, I do want to mention there's an internal 16 gigabyte memory card on here, which has an operating system. And I'm not going to touch that. That's where my node red resides. However, on the side of this little device right here, we have a micro SD card slot. And I have a 32 gigabyte micro SD card, which we're going to install HamPy tools on. So let's jump into things. And while we're doing so, I'm going to try to answer some questions about this as well. Here it is, the Innovato Quadra. Now this one is the Quadra Plus, which means it's a $39.95, we'll call it $40 kit. And with that kit, it comes with the faster Wi-Fi, the Bluetooth 4.2 and a USB hub, however, I did upgrade another $10, so $49 total, and I got this USB 2.0 four port hub. I have Wi-Fi 5 on here, and I have a Bluetooth 4.2 dongle, which is in one of these packages somewhere. But regardless, the point is, is I have this Innovata Quadra, and by stock, it actually has an operating system on it. So all we would have to do is kind of plug into here, turn it on, and we would be good to go. Uh, except we're going to install HamPy tools on an external SD card today. And before we do that, though, we want to hook everything up. So if we look on the back here of this device, we have a power port here. We have one USB port. We have an Ethernet port. We have a HDMI port. I will say that I've been told the HDMI that's on the back of this device is pretty noisy or maybe it's the cable however i don't have any radios here in the vicinity to test that so uh, i will take the word of the engineer the developer the owner of the innovata quadras with armbian who also actually just became a ham and uh, i think that's pretty cool but they are working on a solution in the future to make the hdmi less noisy whatever that might be regardless though we're talking today about installing HamPy. And uh, you'll also notice on the side, there is another USB port where I have my wireless mouse plugged into, and we have a micro SD card. We're going to leave the micro SD card unplugged for the moment. Let's go ahead and plug in our four port USB hub on the back of the radio. Yeah, yeah, I know I said radio. Plug it into the back of the Quadra. I'm sure I'm going to hear it in the comments below. <laughs> okay, and then in there, I'm going to plug in my keyboard. And if I wanted to at this point, I could probably plug in my radio, but I'm going to leave that unplugged at the moment because that's how it is. I'm going to go ahead though and plug in the Ethernet cord. I'm going to go ahead and plug in my HDMI. My HDMI goes to my computer where you guys will be able to see everything that's happening in just a moment. Finally, I'm going to plug in my power source here. Power cord was included, just in case anybody was wondering, but we'll see on the front of the radio. What I noticed already is there's no light on indicating that this is powering on, so I'm just going to go on the back uh, and check to make sure that I have this plugged into a power source. All right. Actually, the power wasn't plugged in to the outlet, so the 5 volts, we didn't have any 5 volts. We didn't get any power. Now that it's plugged into an outlet, we first get a red light, and then it turns blue after everything is booted up. So this looks like it should be okay. I want to really quickly jump over to Linux, and this is what you might expect out of the box. There it is, Innovato Quadra. And it's asking for a password, which I think I've already set on this machine. And long story short, this is where I've installed Node Red. And it's nothing really spectacular in here, but it is just a basic Linux operating system. What we're going to do, though, is we're going to go over to my computer and we're going to download and install the HamPy tools. The first thing you're going to want to do is go over to the SourceForge webpage I have listed below. It will look a little bit like this. Once you're there, since we're using the Innovato Quadra, you're going to want to download this release of HamPy 
which currently is version 3.1.1b2 for the Innovato Quadra. After you download it, you'll find your download location and for right now, just leave everything as it is. We are gonna need one more tool and that's gonna be a disk imager to write our image to our micro SD card. Now, the HamPy guys recommend this one tool. That tool is called Bellina Etcher, and I'll link that below as well, but we're gonna download this for the Windows 64-bit version as that's what I'm using as a Windows computer. Once that's done downloading, you should be able to install that program. And after that program is installed, you should see Bellina Etcher. Once you open it up, it's gonna look like this. And we have a couple different options, flash from file, flash from URL, and clone drive. I should mention now is a good time to plug in your micro SD card to your computer. It's not uncommon for me to lose things, so I don't know again where I put my 32 gigabyte micro SD card. I'm gonna use a 16 gigabyte micro SD card. Wait, where did I get a 128 megabyte micro SD card from? I have no idea. Nope, I found it. It was in the junk drawer. Junk drawer? Oh shoot, I just dropped it. So anyway, we do have this little micro SD card converter. Just basically takes an SD card and pops it in here. Your experience might differ. You might even have a micro SD card a reader built into your computer. I don't know. But uh, I'm gonna go ahead and plug everything in and then we're gonna go ahead and write this file. So essentially all we're gonna do is take this compressed file right here, okay? And with this compressed file, we're going to drag it into Bolina Etcher and what happens is we see the image now here and it says to select a target. Now you might get a pop-up that asks you if you wanna format the drive, a FAT32 drive. I would recommend you format this if you haven't yet. But go ahead and click select target and we have an option here for the mass storage device, USB device. Now I see a hidden device and I should mention that this is an external or actually that's my actual C drive. So I wanna avoid that at all costs. It's best to make sure that you're not writing to your actual computer's system drive. Don't do that. <laughs> you see why I mentioned this because that's probably happened a few times. So anyway, we're going to select target. There's no reason for us to look at the show hidden. Here's my mass device USB storage. It's a 32 gigabyte device or 31.1 gigs. I'm going to click on it. I'm going to select it. And now we're going to flash this. That's how easy it is. You might get a pop-up that says, do you wish to allow permissions and go ahead and click yes. And we're essentially going to wait for this to finish flashing to the micro SD card. And while you're waiting for it to flash the micro SD card, check out shop.hamradiodude.com. You're gonna notice here that it says I have an 18 minute ETA to flash this drive. And that's not anything to do with the operating system or the SD card. It's actually that adapter I'm using, which is not a good adapter. <laughs> we have our flash being complete, so we're just gonna go ahead and take that memory card out of our USB device, and we're gonna pop it into the Innovato Quadra. And now we're just gonna go ahead and plug everything back in, and when we do, Instead of it booting up to that normal operating system, it should boot up to an alternative operating system. Let's take a look. There it is, Armbian. The first time does take a little bit to boot up and that could be because it's installing certain files. I'm not quite sure. But once it's done actually booting up, we're gonna get to a login screen and that's why it's important to have a computer laying or a keyboard laying around rather because we're gonna to have to type in our password and we can go through now and get everything set up. So as you could see here, we have quite a few different options. We have Quadra, Pi, and uh, SysOps. So the Pi password should be Raspberry. There we go, Raspberry, all lowercase. And once everything loads up, we should see um, a main screen here with the option to click on a bunch of different things. So here it is, HamPi and we could read a bunch of articles or more realistically we can click on applications up on the top of the screen and now as you could see here we have options for ham radio and these are all the tools that come installed with the ham pie image realistically i did install node red on the primary image that's on the innovata quadra but 
I could also install Node Red on here. I just want to kind of make that noted, and maybe that's what we'll do in the future as well. That is essentially how you would install HamPy on the Innovato Quadra, and things do run okay on here. We're going to go over this in the next episode a little bit more detail, but we'll talk about you know, configuring things like, and it's super simple, but configuring things like your ham clock, for example. If we go to a ham radio, there should be an option here for ham clock. We have logging stuff, and I will say right now, hammers doesn't seem to open up, but we'll try to take a look at that here in the future too. We'll take a look at some of the software to find radio stuff, and I'm really looking forward to taking a look at some of the things like... Uh, Digipeter type stuff as well. So in the future here, we're going to go over some of these, these programs and try to get things configured and so forth. But this was more just of a tutorial to show you that HamPy does work on the Innovato Quadra. But wait, if we were to end this episode right now and I was to say, hey, we'll get everything installed and configured next program. If this was connected to the internet, you would basically and potentially be a sitting security vulnerability. So we need to do a few things here to kind of secure our system until the next time where we talk about the programs. Let's jump back into Pi Tools, okay? And in Pi Tools, the first thing we're going to do now is we're going to go up to Applications, and we're going to go to the Terminal Emulator. Once the Terminal Emulator loads, type in P-A-S-S-W-D, all lowercase. Now it says changing the password for the user Pi. We have to type in our password again, Raspberry, all lowercase, and now it's going to say, what do you want for your new password? And type in a new password. It's going to have you type it in twice. And you have to remember this password. So now it says my password was updated successfully. That's a great thing. Uh, but we do need to do a couple of more things, like uh, update the system just to make sure that we have everything up to date. sudo apt git update. Now it's going to check the resources to see if there's any updates available and it's gonna download them. This could take a while. And once it's done updating, now we're gonna do a sudo, sudo apt git upgrade. And this is gonna basically upgrade anything that needs to be upgraded, if there are anything. So it says, hey, after this operation, there's gonna be 13.2 megabytes of additional space to be used. Is that cool? We're gonna hit Y for yes, and then hit enter. Once your upgrade is done, all you have to do here is type in exit, and then hit enter. Your system should now be up to date. So with that, everybody, that was just a quick tutorial on how to get HamPy onto your Innovata Quadra. And I think that it's really nice that we could use that external SD card, not worry about writing the image that's on the Quadra. Again, that's where I have my node read. We could take a look at that later. And of course, we're gonna go and deep dive some of the programs that are on HamPy here in the future as well. We'll get them all configured and everything but it's one step at a time. So right now, I think that should give you enough to, to recognize what the Innovata Quadra is. Go take a look at it online, see if it's something that might interest you. But hey, for either $29, $39, or $49, you could have an alternative that allows you to have HamPy on a non-Raspberry Pi device when you can't find a Raspberry Pi anywhere. So I hope that helped you out. And until next time, I'm Ham Radio Dude 73